the Nintendo Switch is getting a major upgrade. That's right, a new arcade functionality has made its way to the Switch. Let's check it out. Looks like the Virtual Console got a major upgrade. It's now known as the Switch Arcade. Let's head on over to the GameCube section to learn more. You can choose from any one of your favorite GameCube games. We'll choose Super Mario Sunshine, choose from one of three suspend points, and hop right on into the action. Relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. You might be curious, where do you purchase these games? Well, you don't. They are all included with our subscription-based service, Nintendo Switch Online, coming in 2018. We hope you look forward to hearing more details about Switch Arcade and Nintendo Switch Online within the coming months. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Thomas on the Switch Shop, and I'm going to basically explain what that video was. So that was just a fake trailer I put together trying to symbolize what I think Nintendo could do for their missing virtual console and Nintendo Switch Online service. So I feel like Nintendo Switch Arcade is a great way for them to combine the virtual console with their subscription based online service. So I feel like the virtual console, I've been saying this for a while now, the virtual console will be subscription based and you will get all the games for your flat fee of however much the subscription is. And that's been rumored for a while, but what my take on it is, is it's going to be combined with Nintendo Switch Online. Nintendo has never had a major subscription-based service. Why would they have two now? It just doesn't make sense. So I feel like they're going to combine the two, and that's awesome. One major thing I think they're going to do if they combine it is they're going to rename it. The Virtual Console is known as you can buy your favorite old games. But if they want to go with a subscription based service, they're probably going to want to rename it just to start fresh. So I think the Nintendo Switch Arcade is a great name. However, it just doesn't really sound like something Nintendo would go with. I mean, if they did, that would be amazing because I predicted it. But I feel like they're going to go with something else. Maybe they'll keep the virtual console name after all. So as you can see, when the arcade logo appears on the home menu, I replaced the controller's logo with it, as you can see from these two screenshots, and I put the controller's logo over covering the power button. Why did I do that? Well, because all the other buttons are essential, like you need them. As you can see, you need the eShop button to get into the eShop. You also need the gallery button to get into your photo gallery. You don't need the power button to turn off your switch. In fact, I pretty much use the other two methods way more. I get up and physically turn off my switch because if I'm going to recharge my controllers, what's wrong with just turning it off there? And if you're maybe too lazy to even do that, you can just hold the home button, access quick settings, and turn it off from there. I do this while I'm during games, I do this at the home menu. I, I use that way more than I use the physical button on the home menu. So I feel like covering it up with controllers isn't that bad of an idea. However, if Nintendo wanted to keep the button there, they could always just make everything smaller or they could shift them all to the side. I just feel like this option's the easiest. Then as you can see, when you hop on into it, you can see I only put the four major home consoles that I think will be there, no other handhelds or even consoles from other companies such as Sega or Atari which would be awesome. The only reason I just put these four is because it would just be simplest to just have these four for this small demonstration. And speaking of four, yeah the GameCube's here because we've known or it's been rumored that the Switch would have GameCube Virtual Console before we even knew what the Switch was. We didn't even know it by its name. It was codenamed NX and one of the first rumors we got about this thing is that it would have GameCube Virtual Console. The Switch is only Almost definitely power the switch is a hundred percent powerful enough so I feel like that's probably something Nintendo will do which is awesome anyway moving on you can see that that is a lot of games but if you're gonna be in a subscription based service where you get all the GameCube virtual console games then they're not all gonna fit on the screen at once or else it would be incredibly cluttered so as you can see from the three games to the right, I kind of clumped them up and slanted them sideways, just indicating that there's more games off that direction. So if you keep scrolling, you'll go through all the games. 
Also, these games aren't currently organized in any way, shape, or form, but it would be awesome if Nintendo did something such as you could favorite 10 games and use those, or maybe they'll probably just go with the one you played last. Also, how are you going to have all these games on your system? If it's a subscription-based service and you literally get all the games in the virtual console, how are these all going to fit on your system? Well, easy answer, they're not, and you're just going to choose the games you want to play and download those. However, Nintendo being Nintendo would probably do something weird to this, so I'm guessing that they're only going to let you have 10 games downloaded at a time. This is just a really random out there guess, it just sounds like something Nintendo would do. If you've been with the company long enough, you'll know they do some pretty weird stuff just randomly out of nowhere, and that just seems like something they would do. However, I believe that if they did that, they would have to remedy it by allowing you to back up your games, which is something else I think they're going to do with the Nintendo Switch Online. You're going to be allowed to back up not just your virtual console games, but your actual Switch games as well, which matters way more. And being able to back up these games on the cloud, while I imagine it's possible for Nintendo obviously, as pretty much every other game company has it, I feel like it would be still kind of expensive, which is why I think it would be an exclusive to the paid subscription service. Finally, if you head on over to the suspend points, you can see that there are three of them, and if you don't know what a suspend point is, it's basically a quick save and you can just head back to that exact instance anytime you want. They've had these with the NES Classic, SNES Classic, and even the Wii U Virtual Console, so they're definitely going to put it in here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this little commercial. While I know it's obviously not the best, it did still take a long time because I'm not Nintendo. I'm just a kid with little to no video editing slash Photoshop experience. So obviously it wasn't the best, but it still did take me a while, so any feedback is really appreciated. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You are all the best. I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop, signing off.